the airplane has transformed our world and the way we live. All thanks to the ingenuity of two bicycle makers who dreamed they could fly. One of the things that makes it such an important object is that everything that's embodied in this airplane is embodied in every airplane that we fly in today. In the early 1900s, Wilbur and Orville Wright worked feverishly to take to the skies. For years, many others had tried and failed. And there was no shortage of skeptics. Just days before the Wright brothers took flight, the New York Times stated that a flying machine wouldn't be built for millions of years. Well, they were wrong. On December 17, 1903, Orville and Wilbur readied their flyer on the sands of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Why did the Wright brothers choose to fly in Kitty Hawk? In those days, it was a barren, sandy landscape. And the Wright brothers went down there and were able to make hundreds of flights with their gliders in the good, steady winds in the safe environment of the, of the sandy dunes there. At 10.35 a.m., Orville takes off. He's airborne for 12 seconds. By the fourth attempt, Wilbur flies for 59 seconds, covering a distance of 852 feet. The brothers understood the importance of aerodynamics, balance, control, and the benefit of a strong, lightweight structure. That was no accident. In addition to their early careers as printers, they built and sold their own brand of bicycles. The Wright brothers realized that you didn't have to have an entirely stable machine to have an entirely controllable machine. The Wrights even added some of the more familiar features of bicycle mechanics to their flyer. Look at those things there that look like bicycle chains and sprockets. What that is, is the transmission system, which is connecting the two propellers to the engine. Fantastic. So how many times did this plane fly? Well, you know, it only flew on one day. A big gust of wind came across the sand dunes down at Kitty Hawk and picked up the airplane and cartwheeled it across the sand and damaged it beyond repair in the field. And it never flew again. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is really My pleasure. Thank you very much. It's always fun to talk about my favorite airplane. Beck seems fascinated with the right flyer. Wait till he sees what's next. Hey, how are you? Was it exciting? Yeah. How would you like to go flying in an old-fashioned biplane? <laughs> Yeah? You guys ready to go? Come on in. It's an awesome beautiful. Pretty nice. Yeah, beautiful. Guys, this is John. He's going to be our pilot for the day. Hi. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Here's Beck. Hi, hey, Beck. How are you? A lot of similarities, believe it or not, this airplane and the right flyer that you were just downtown looking at. Yeah. I want to be in the Air Force, fly either helicopters or jets. I am definitely interested in being a pilot. Here we go. Whoa! The Wright Flyer never flew this high. Makes a great aerobatic airplane. Or did any of this. Whoa! I knew you'd love it. No, it's yeah, so cool. Cool. Adios. We've come a long way since 1903. The fact that you couldn't see was probably the <laughs> the worst part of that. Have we inspired you or scared you? Uh, yes. 